Bulls, blood, dust, and mud. The roar of a Sunday crowd. The white in the knuckles, the gold in the buckles. And being gay is what it's all about. That's right, y'all. Yeehaw and saddle up, because on this year episode of Out of the Closet Podcast, we're highlighting an organization known as the International Gay Rodeo Association. That's right. Gay cowboys, gay cowgirls, drag queens and dirts. It must be the gay rodeo. Now, growing up in Texas, I was always around rodeos and familiar with that machismo cowboy factor. But did you know that there's even more fabulous way to rodeo? That's right. A gay rodeo, y'all. The International Gay Rodeo Association, or the IGRA, founded in 1985, is the sanctioning body for gay rodeos held throughout the United States and Canada. They are the largest group coordinating rodeo events, specifically welcoming lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, you know, the whole LGBTQ community, as well as heterosexual participants and spectators. IGRA is composed of many regional gay rodeo associations and sanctions a season of rodeo events, which culminates in an annual World Gay Rodeo Finals. IGRA events are intended to allow all competitors, regardless of sexual and gender identity, to compete in rodeo sports without any discrimination. The organization helps spread appreciation for Western culture and the sport of rodeo while serving as a fundraising vehicle benefiting many charitable organizations. Competitors compete for prize money and the title of all around cowboy and cowgirl at each rodeo. The winners of each event receive trophy buckles designed by the hosting association. At season's end, the contestants with the highest points in each event receive invitations to the World Gay Rodeo Finals presented by the IGRA. The event was renamed in 2009 from its previous International Gay Rodeo Finals moniker it held from its onset in Hayward, California. Now, the original intent of these rodeos was fundraising, and while highly competitive and structured rodeos still serve the primary purpose of being fundraisers, the money raised at the rodeo is donated to the designated charities of each association. In total, IGRA and all the associated associations have donated to furthering the individual causes of all charities that are benefactors of rodeo funds. First off, if you've never been to an actual rodeo, you should go at least once. They're a lot of fun. I take Benadryl before I go because that horse dander gets crazy. But if you go to a rodeo, you might as well go to a big gay rodeo. Am I right? You're darn tootin' I am. Sorry, not everybody that's in rodeo talks like that. I do that just for my own self. All right. In fact, if you want to go to a rodeo that's in your area, um, there's a few that are coming up. So I'm going to list a couple. And if it happens to be near you, go check them out. Okay. Um, if you're in Texas, uh, in Aubrey, Texas, they're going to, on June 19th, have the uh, RRRA Rodeo School. Um, July 9th through the 11th, if you're in Denver or the Colorado area, there's the Rocky Mountain Regional Rodeo. If you're in Albuquerque or New Mexico, uh, August 27th um, through the 29th, there's the Zia Regional Rodeo. If you're in San Francisco, California, the gayest place on earth, September 10th through the 12th, it's going to be called the Best Buck in the Bay. That's a pretty good name right there. Uh, rodeo and then if you happen to be out in shiny las vegas nevada uh at the end of our mid-september september 17th there's the bighorn rodeo so there's a lot of different rodeos coming up you can also go to the igra website and find out so to learn more about these gay rodeo events and to get more information on the international gay rodeo say so to learn more about these events so to learn more about these gay rodeo events and to get more information on the International Gay Rodeo Association, visit IGRA.org. That's IGRA.org. Yeehaw! Woo! Funky Bravo! And now it's time for your gay history lesson. That's right, today's gay history lesson is all about the fabulous musical life of queen frontman, gay icon, and the creator of some of the most iconic anthems ever sang, Mr. Freddie Mercury. 
Freddie Mercury, born September 5th of 1946, was a fabulous British rock singer and songwriter whose flamboyant showmanship and powerfully agile vocals, most famously for the band Queen, made him one of rock's most dynamic frontmen of all time, creating iconic songs like We Are the Champions, We Will Rock You, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Another One Bites the Dust, just to name a few. Freddie Mercury is a frequent artist on our big gay playlist of life. But before all the fame, before all the fans, and before the name Freddie Mercury, he was born Farouk Bulsara to uh, Parsi parents who had immigrated from India to Zanzibar, where his father worked as a clerk for the British government. As a child, Bulsara was sent to a boarding school in India. Artistically inclined from an early age, he formed a band there in which he played the piano. When Zanzibar became part of the independent country of Tanzania in 1964, Bulsara moved with his family to Feltham, England. He later studied graphic art and design in 1969. Influenced by the hard-edged, blues-based style of rock acts such as Cream and Jimi Hendrix, Bulsara began singing with bands in London. He also became friends with guitarist Brian May and drummer Roger Taylor of the band Smile. And in 1970, when Smile's lead singer quit, Balsara replaced him. He soon changed the group's name to Queen and his own name to Freddie Mercury. Bassist John Deacon joined the following year. Incorporating elements of both heavy metal and glam rock, the band debuted on record with Queen of 1973, which was followed by Queen II of 1974, or Queen II. Despite an impressive blend of majestic vocal harmonies and layered uh, virtuosic guitar work, Queen initially failed to attract much notice beyond the United Kingdom. The album Sheer Heart Attack of 1974, however, shot up the international charts and A Night at the Opera of 1975 sold even better. The band's ambitious approach to both songwriting and studio production was epitomized by the latter album's mock operatic single, Bohemian Rhapsody, one of the number of Queen compositions written principally by Mercury. The song spent nine weeks atop the British singles chart and its accompanying promotional film helped the music uh, industry recognize its future in video. Spectacular successes followed in 1977 with We Are the Champions and We Will Rock You, which became anthems at sporting events in Britain and the United States. We all know those songs. You know, you start stomping the bleachers and you're ready to say We Will Rock You. I love that. It's, it's such, such an amazing anthem song. By the early 1980s, Queen had become an international phenomenon, drawing particular attention for its elaborately staged performances in enormous venues, strutting the stage in outrageous costumes, and Mercury effortlessly commanded audiences in the tens of thousands. Although Queen's commercial fortunes had begun to wane by mid-decade, the band arguably reached its peak with a live act with just an incredible stellar performance at charity concert Live Aid in 1985. That same year, Mercury released a solo record called Mr. Bad Guy, which took musical inspiration from disco. In 1991, Mercury announced that he had been diagnosed with AIDS, and then he died a day later from complications related to the disease. Until shortly before his death, Mercury had continued to record with Queen, and after his death, he was featured on the band's final album, Made in Heaven, of 1995. His time with Queen was dramatized in the blockbuster film Bohemian Rhapsody of 2018. I don't know if you guys saw that movie. Although Rami Malek won an Academy Award for his performance uh, as Freddie Mercury in the movie, Bohemian Rhapsody was criticized for its sanitized presentation of Mercury's complicated life, particularly his sexual fluidity. They kind of they they did kind of steamroll over that a little bit. Anyway, you know, go go see the movie and go listen and download Freddie Mercury's music if you haven't already. And you can wear your tightest pants and grow out a thick mustache while you're doing it. It'll be fun. All right. For links and resources used in this segment, please visit the Out of the Closet podcast and visit today's show recap. Another one bass of dust. Another one bass of dust. And that's your gay history lesson for this week. Tune in. 
for our next episode for an all new gay history lesson where we're going to learn about a power lesbian making huge moves in sports and pioneering the way for females in the National Football League and professional sports head coach and first female coach at the Super Bowl, Katie Sowers. So you don't want to miss out on the next episode of the Gay Herstory Lesson. So stay tuned. Laces out, ladies. Laces out. All right, guys. Well, this is the official close to this episode of the Out of the Closet podcast slash vodcast. Thank you all so much for listening and or watching. I really appreciate your time and your continued support. I want to thank all of the our guests that joined us today. Thank you to the official skin and beauty expert of the Out of the Closet podcast, Miss Rose Pearson of Rodan and Fields. To get in touch with Rose, to buy your own Rodan and Fields products, and to get a discount for all new clients, just visit today's show recap at the out of the closet podcast.com website, and I'll post her cell, her email, and uh, you'll have um, custom access to her website so you can view all of the amazing products. Hey, a huge thank you to all of our amazing sponsors. I hope you guys are not just skipping through those ads. Those people deserve your ears. They're incredible and they help pay for this broadcast. So thank you guys so much. They're all gay owned and or gay friendly sponsors. So I encourage you to go check them out, please, for a list of all of our sponsors. Uh, you can go to the out of the closet podcast.com and we actually post all of our listener discounts there as well, too. So you can find all the discounts at all of our sponsors on that same page. If you want to, advertise on our show i would love that that would be great it'd be fantastic it's really easy to do just shoot me an email at andrew at out of the closet podcast.com you can advertise on this show for less than a bedazzled leather harness let's face it it's cheap it's affordable and it supports this gay owned podcast thank you for all things Out of the Closet Podcast and to see videos from today's show, just log on to outofthecloset.podcast.com. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel by searching for Out of the Closet Podcast.com with host Andrew Petke. That's P-E-T-T-K-E. And you can follow and like the shows on Insta, Twitter, and on Facebook. Just search for podcast O-O-T-C. To email the show or me, uh, just send me an email at Andrew at out of the closet podcast.com. If you have show ideas, questions, or need advertising or other information, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you'd love to nominate a weekly charity to be highlighted on our charity spotlight, please shoot me an email. I'd love to hear who you'd like to nominate. All right, tune in to our next fabulous episode of the Out of the Closet podcast. In fact, tell some of your friends to tune in too, because we will be discussing gay real estate. That's right. You should go with trusted gay real estate agents, brokers, and gay-friendly businesses associated with that, okay? It is an uh, episode you are not going to want to miss for sure. That's going to be next episode. In the meantime, you can listen and watch any and all of our podcasts, including previous episodes. So if you missed one, if you missed any of the gay history lessons or any of the other tons of fun stuff, you can go online to our website at outofthecloset.podcast.com. I know we keep saying it, but that's where all the information is. All right, and then also a huge shout out to my best friend, Doug Long, who created the podcast theme music that you're hearing right now and that you hear at the start and end of every OOTC podcast. So thank you to, to my talented bestie for the fun musical beats. You can find him on Instagram at Dougie underscore style. That's D-U-G-G-Y underscore style. You can find him there. So thank you so much for listening and spreading the word if you love this podcast. Just remember, be safe, be proud, and strive to be the most true version of yourself. Can I get an amen? Amen. Woo! Hello to all my Out of the Closet podcast family. I don't want to beg and I don't want to come off as needy, but the Out of the Closet podcast only exists because of listeners like you, and I really need your support. Any financial support you can do would be amazing and greatly appreciated, whether it's $5, an ongoing monthly contribution, or if you just want to hand over your total inheritance and put me in the will, that's fine too. Anyway, it's really easy to do. Just go to outofthecloset.podcast.com and click the support tab. Thank you so much for supporting the Out of the Closet podcast.